Welcome back to Sacred Spiral ASMR. I am Emily, creator and keeper of this safe space for healing humans. In the kitchen for just a short slice of life, my daughter and I are making herbal concentrate elixirs. We have a berry, it has rose hips, hibiscus, black berry leaves, and some cherry. This one is a ginger and probiotics, also some cinnamon. This one is the um, original holy basil. So we'll just drink these over ice with sparkling water, maybe some lemonade, slice of lime, mint, that kind of thing. These will go in the fridge now to cool and continue to steep. So what do you think of it? That's good, not bad. The raid will work on the recipe. It tastes like a pretty potent holiday punch. Definitely be a good non-alcohol replacement. A mocktail. What is that? A drink without alcohol. Cocktails is what it would be called if it had alcohol in it. Yeah. All those potent herbs make it have a bite and kick, so. It actually tastes quite good when you do it like this. With the lime. Okay. Well, if you just like put mm, put the lime in and click it. Mm -hmm. basil plant on the bottom that aren't looking so good. Aren't ya? Yes. <laughs> yes. Go ahead, honey. Let's see. I want to be on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Dylan? Ah, um, Dad is, uh, so that it's okay for us to shower now. Okay. In a sec. Okay. You can go on without me. Alright. These are dead, right? Um, you don't need to pick those ones off. Just the ones that are, like, really pale or brown. This one but if they have like a little really boo boo pale. on them, that's fine, honey. Okay. We can eat boo boo ones. There's just like just a few more, I think. This one's got a hole in it, so that one's probably dead. This one's pretty pale. This one's pale and it's got boo boos. 
It has lots of little new growth on it though. Yeah. I think it's doing pretty well. Basil doesn't like a whole lot of sunlight. It was in direct sunlight and it didn't like that so we're bringing it away from the windowsill. Which is where the sage lives. The sage loves all the sun. It's doing pretty well. And we have mint now too, we're gonna plant, right? Yep. Mint and immortality herb and lavender. I used to call it the immortality herbs and uh, mint leaves. It's just so hard to say for a three-year-old. <laughs> yeah. I think I have chive seeds too, so I think that's pretty good, honey. Better to maybe remove less rather than more at this point, huh? Okay, there's just one more that's pretty pale. All right. You did a good job. Thank you. I think it probably likes that amount of light there. Can you throw the leaves in the trash? Sure. Thank you, and I'll wash this. All right. You're welcome. Thank you for helping me in the kitchen. You're welcome. And here is that mint. I mentioned. It's looking pretty healthy at this point. I'd like to get it into something larger. spread out some more. We found another pot at the right size so I can replant this. is already ready to go. Doesn't look like he's too root bound at this point so I think I'll just leave those little roots alone. Just loosen a tiny bit. I've done a lot of videos for fire folks. Some water people want to get some more going for my earth people. I'm going to need to add some more soil around the roots here. Okay, added some more soil. Yep, <laughs> I hear frogs and some crows out here. You know, and I don't know why I put it like that. Fire folks, water, earth people, air people, like we all need all energies. It's just a matter of what we require in any given moment for balance. 
So, getting the hands in the soil, feeling connected to nature and to ourselves and our part of that, the food chain, the cycle of life. Meant some water. Sage doesn't need as much water. Mint, basil, sage, mint, basil, sage. Thank you for joining us.